This is the technical difficulties. We're playing Citation Needed. Joining me in the studio today, he reads books. You know, it's Chris Joel. I just, blah, 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 blah. It's a good I, start. That's yeah. his favourite, Gary Brannan. Gary Brannan. Coherency. And the bounteous man on the internet, Matt Gray. Hello, YouTube. In front of me, I have an article from Wikipedia, and these folks can't see it. Every fact they get right is a point and a ding. And a special prize for particularly good answers, which is... Mystery Biscuits! Oh, yeah. Today's article is... The Flitch of Bacon Custom. <laughs> Oh yeah, good luck with this one, guys. Tell me that's not a person. Tell me that's not a ceremonial position in the house in, in, in Parliament. Black Rod, the flitch of the bacon, bacon custom. Oh, excuse me a second. The flitch of bacon. <laughs> the flitch of bacon. Is it the custom of the flitch of bacon? Uh, yeah, is, yes, a, it is, is a flitch an amount or cut or volume of bacon? Yes, have a, a point. unit, a unit of bacon measure. It's a fairly thick slab. Right. It's basically what you cut up to make thin rashes of bacon. Right. Okay, so we're actually talking proper bacon and yes. a size off. Yes. Is is this something like fish slapping dance? Oh. <laughs> with a side of bacon. Bacon beating. Brandon, if you'd care to mime with me. Go on. <laughs> Come, sir. <laughs> entire pig, boom, into the tent. Well, actually, <laughs> entire pig went, <laughs> as it comes out. <laughs> Rodents of unusual size, I don't think they exist. <laughs> Pigs do fly. They do if you stick a jet engine on the top of them. Science! (laughs) (laughs) An experiment was carried out attaching a small jet engine to it. Actually, I think that oversteps the boundaries from from technical murthery to animal cruelty. Um, Where is is the boundary there? I think it's the bit where you've strapped a jet engine to a pig. To be be fair, we could use a dead pig just Uh, to test the concept. Wait, wait, wait. Heat off jet engine. Delicious, delicious bacon. Well, at the well end I'm, of it. I'm thinking, yeah, we wrap the outside of the pig in some fuel that isn't as noxious as jet fuel, yeah. so that when it inevitably crashes, boom, instant bacon. <gasps> Wait, crackling as well. Instant barbecue. The heat yeah. you get around the edge of that will sort mm. its skin out. Oh. 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 We just need to sneak onto the runway at Heathrow with, that, I assume, like a garden fork with a pig on the end, and we need a military jet with an afterburner. I don't yeah. think we really need an afterburner. We just I need any kind of burner. <laughs> a, jet, a jet engine probably produces enough heat oh, without I'm with an a spectacle, after- to be honest. Ah, and that's oh, yeah. <laughs> The flitch of bacon custom, gentlemen. Uh, okay, we're talking ye olde, aren't we here? Um, how ye olde? Um, medieval? Yeah, 14th, it, 15th century? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. It can be traced back to at least the 14th century, survived until about the 18th. So Is it in point. this country? Yes, very okay. much so. I'm going to say it's one of the wackier parts of, the, uh, of this fine nation, am I right? Yes. Are we talking south, southern, the kind of place where they throw cheese down a hill and chase it, when, to be honest, you can go to any old shop and find still cheese? <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite that violent. The thrill of the hunt, old man. <laughs> um, <laughs> who, who wants an Edam that doesn't fight back? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's someone out there, bless you in Gloucestershire, well, it is in Gloucestershire, it isn't is it? It is in Gloucestershire, yeah. the cheese rolling. The cheese rolling. Someone out there has, has f***ed their ankle and goes into hospital and years later, how did you how did you break your ankle, daddy? Well, I was chasing a giant Edam, or whatever exactly. it is. The Gloucestershire cheese rolling, for anyone who doesn't know, is uh, an event every spring in Gloucestershire where they get a lot of people at the top of a hill, chuck a roll of cheese down, and then everyone just kind of ragdolls after it. They say you meant to run down the hill after about... Mm. It's less of a risk. It's more of a windmill come flailing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who who, who, cheese, who yeah. wants a placid, tasteless cheese when you can have one that's run wild and free and develop true taste? Do you do that all the time? Then? Do you just go to a, lo- to, to a supermarket, get, get a Muller Crunch Corner and wang it down a hill because yeah. it tastes better? It's how you mature Absolutely. them. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Um, by the way, the, the cheese rolling thing for the last few years, can you tell me why, why it's not quite been as safe as it might have been? Uh, the landmines. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's rolling landmines down. <laughs> there was a big due, due to cheese Chutney shortages. Explosions. <laughs> <laughs> was it still in the cow? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is that it was official until about 2010. Then it got banned on grounds of health and safety, so people just turn up and do it anyway, hey. only without as much medical support. Oh, Lynn. Yes. Good on you, Gloucestershins. <laughs> a long time ago, you asked whether it was down south. Yes. Uh, and, uh, well, sort Is it bottom of. left, bottom right? Uh, there's references to it in Essex, but there's uh. also references to it in uh, Staffordshire, up near Burton-on-Trent. So it's all in the south? It's, it's uh, thank you, Yorkshireman. Okay, yes, yeah. by Yorkshire standards, <laughs> it's in the south. south. Where they drink beer wrong and their tea tastes funny. <laughs> Is it that st- certain local yeomen of certain standing must donate X much... To the local lord from the first cut of bacon of the year, or... That's uh, what I was going to go with. No, it's actually, it's bacon that is given to someone. 
And to be honest, there's only one person at this table who would be eligible for it right now. Married man. Married man and his partner. Yes. Hello. Have a point. No, Have he did it. say he did say you've got to be virtuous as well, mate. So. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 now. <laughs> it's given a year and a day after the wedding. Cool. To uh, a man and his wife. All right. Because this is you know ancient times, and it was it was a man <coughs> and his wife. <coughs> Indeed. Yes. 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 Who can attest to something after a year and a day that they've not done it? <laughs> no, that they've done it every day. <laughs> that's, that's grounds for annulment, not uh, not. A You're right. Well, it's like You're closer <laughs> without going over. Us children. It's something to do with the marriage. It's not not to do with anything else. It's something they feel about the marriage. Divorce? No, no. quite the opposite. You're no. going to get your marriage upgraded to a super marriage. <laughs> this is all it kind, think of, it kind of already is at this point. You would do it again. You would recommend it to a friend. I'm going to redo your vows. I'm going to give Gary the point that you don't regret it, that you have never regretted it in that year and a day. <laughs> if you can testify that you... No, I'm not going to ask you that question, Gary. Um, but if you can testify that you've never... Well, put it this way, I'm do me some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the other thing is, it's going to get to, like, day 364, so... Yeah, it's been pretty poor, but we want this bacon, don't but, we? Love um, it? <laughs> there is a bit of bacon on the way, so how about? I we think just... I think we can land the second year on the back of the bacon. Yeah, <laughs> Flush of bacon was actually referred to in a very famous book, Chaucer. Yeah, absolutely right. Referred to in Chaucer uh, in a way that makes clear the reference would already be known to the reader. Oh, so it's okay, yeah. widespread. Did you do a look down the camera and go, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, it's in The Wife of Bath's oh, prologue. Is that the one where Oh, blimey, right. right. Yeah, so yeah. he probably did look down the camera yeah. and go, if you know <laughs> what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> the bacon was not fat for them, I threw, that some men han in Essex at Dunmo, which is the place that... Yeah. Mm, I'm mispronouncing that, obviously, because... Right. Good, e- good effort, old Good boy. start, eh? Good yeah. effort. Yeah. I'd like to you probably did out. better than we did. I'd like to point out that I know nothing about Chaucer. I just know that's an old, old book. book. <laughs> and whenever I say Chaucer, I get it right. Yeah, point, by the way. <laughs> Chaucer, point. <laughs> and then and he gave unto him a point. <laughs> <laughs> and there are pronounced a ding. <laughs> A ding of a ding from table wood, <laughs> <laughs> and biscuits of mystery <laughs> for food. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. <laughs> right, flitch, uh, flitch trials, as they were called. Welcome to also, the seven you, o'clock can... news. I'm flitch trials. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, like, is that like a witch trial? I accuse you of being bacon, I'm going to have to burn you. The best thing is he's pointed at a pig. When he's <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst pig. Thank you. My no, pig impression pig was pig terrible. Hold on, going round impressions. Pig. <laughs> Goose. Uh, train. Uh-huh. Goose on a train? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's not getting old for some reason. <laughs> um, I, love the, I love the way that the goose is never just sat on the train. It always ends up... On the train. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said on. You didn't say in what state. <laughs> There's a lovely old thing in linguistics um, about mass and count nouns, the difference between them. Oh. Says, there was a goose on the train versus there was goose on the train. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the worst thing is he's talking about the co-pilot from Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you required to bring along to a, to a flitch trial to prove that the... Apple sauce. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, better question, who were you required to produce? Vicar. Not quite. Your mum. Uh, your best man, or something like that. Your Wit- wife. say witnesses of some species. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Neighbours. Point ah, yeah. two of your neighbours to prove yeah, that the oath yeah, is prove, true. Yeah, prove they haven't had any rows. Yeah. That'd probably work as well, actually. <laughs> Um, well, in a lot of these kind of cases, I mean, we're working as I do with these kind of things to do with kind say, of Can we get an archivist and, shout here? <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, a lot of these kind of in, in, in kind of non-consummation cases or uh, adultery, a lot of the evidence comes from neighbours who have obviously been peeping out the back window and gone, mm, that's not the missus, mm. you know. <laughs> so assuming you win the flitter of bacon, yeah. what, what happens? You get, the, you get the bacon and then... Feast for friends and family. A grand ceremony with trumpets, ah. tabarets and all other manner of minstrelry. Yes, that's what you'd expect, I'd imagine, for that kind of size of thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, you've been doing that a lot. I was going to say, there's a lot of weddings we're talking about here. And we're have, we, have, about... We just got, have we just got pigs and pigs and pigs and minstrels knackered from well, playing Well, this is day? the thing. It doesn't seem to have been claimed all that often. <laughs> oh, it's one of these things that's on the books, but you've got to ask for it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. How many times is the famous Flitch at Dunmo known to have been claimed? I'm going to say really low, 15. like four or five or something like that. I'm going to split the difference and say nine. Uh, I'm going to give Gary the point six. Really? Six that we know about. When was it repealed? 
Um, it sort of fell uh, fell apart in the sort of 15th, 16th century, dissolution of the monasteries around then. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was revived in Victorian times, of course. Mm. Natch. In, the, in their quest for anything ye only to legitimize yep. everything. Yeah. Yep. Can you still do it now? I'm going to say... Probably. Oh, I don't know. That Maybe if you pay for the bacon or something like that, I can see. I could just go to the butchers and pay for bacon. No, no, but you, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah. you can have the ceremony, but you must purchase yeah, yeah, yeah. bacon. You can, um, there, you can actually go every four years. Once every four years, every leap year in Dunmo, there is the Dunmo Flitch Trials Committee, complete, like with, complete with jury. Yeah. Next one's in 2016. I, if it was me, I would be trying to plan oh, my wedding no, day so I could land cut it, in the um, bacon. I'm, my, I've, I've now looked up the, uh, the official oh, the people one who now do it, yeah. The next one will be on the 9th of July, 2016, right. because there is a website, of course, for the Dunmo Flitch Trials. Natch. Yeah. Um, there is a list of the successful claimants going all the way back to 1445. Good work. Um, and they've also awarded flitches to a couple of couples. Who might that be? Oh. Charles and Diana. Point, in fact. <laughs> and mystery biscuit. Uh, Charles and Diana got a flitch. Uh, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson just got a copy of the flitch oath. What's, what's the flitch oath? I pledge allegiance to this bacon, <laughs> what you have given me. Ta. <laughs> In 12 months time and a day, repented not in thought in any way. Oh. Which is actually a fairly strong oath to take. Yeah, it is, that is. You've yeah. never, ever wondered at any point during that year Don't, don't day. forget the medieval mm. fear of hell and church and damnation yes. and everything else. There, That's actually yeah. a serious oath to take. Yeah. Uh, so you can still do it uh, if any one of us got married at some point in 2015. And that is about all there is to it. So it does continue. They have patrons uh, who are providing the bacon and making sure it continues. It is one of these huh. ridiculous... Bacon ri- patrons. We <laughs> salute you, butchers. Ridiculous British traditions that continues on to this day. Good. At the end of the show, congratulations, Gary. You yes! win. Yes! Uh, you win a gift certificate for the shop owned by a treasure hunt Skyrunner, huh. uh, which sells small rodents, pests that live in hair, and adult magazines. It's my slice and vice by Annika Rice, so... <laughs> Enjoy that. That gift certificate. So I'm to run out of these jokes. Do, do suggest some more. That one was good. It, it just built and built and built and built. It's, no, no. Respect. <laughs> In the meantime, thank you to Chris Joel, to Gary Brannan, to Matt Gray. Oh. I've been Tom Scott. We'll see you next time. Today's show is sponsored by the new SDI board game, Hungry Hungry Herpes. <laughs> Say it's the tune that Blur did that landed on the moon with on on um, Mars Beagle with two. Beagle Two. Well, it didn't land. Well, it, it did it land. land. It landed. It landed at <laughs> high velocity <laughs> downwards. I, I know there's a thin line between landing and impact, but uh, I'd say that to the wife all the time. <laughs> the, the, oh, the one thing I do know about what happened to they got battered chips. Ooh. Yeah. Nah. Uh, two very different reactions. I went. Oh. Matt went. Yeah. 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 Oh, you can see. I'm, I'm with Matt on this.